So whoever is going out to get themselves a brand new Hyundai Genesis, I'm so pumped up for you guys. Just a few days ago, I made the top lease deals for June 2019 and I left out the Genesis G70 and one of my subscribers, MPEG, noticed this. He noticed this and I wanted to address it in this particular video highlighting how strong of a program they've got going on right now on the Genesis G70. And what I want to do in this video for anybody that's shopping for a Genesis G70 is two things. One of which is arm you with all of the negotiation tips that you're going to need, all the variables, all the facts that you're going to use in trying to negotiate a smoking hot deal for you, as well as tell you about saveonmyauto.com, which if you go in the description below, you'll be able to log on to the website where you can enter in your zip code and have multiple dealers get in touch where you'll be able to, to shop around for the best price because getting a smoking hot deal on the Genesis G70 is going to largely depend on how many dealerships that you shop around to. And you're going to find out exactly why and what that's going to result to coming right up. What is happening guys? Ari here with Boston Automotive Consulting. Here today to talk about exactly what you should be targeting on a Genesis G70 at the very minimum. And right right now what I want to focus on is a Genesis G70 2.0T Advanced. I'm working with an MSRP of 43120 So guys, the actual markup, like to calculate how much the dealership owns the car for, how much they got it for from Hyundai or Genesis, you basically, you take the MSRP and multiply it by 0.955, essentially a 4.5% markup from the invoice price to the MSRP. However, there's all sorts of factors that play into this, right? So... Typically, Genesis dealers, they'll get a little bit of a kickback from Genesis depending on how many units they sell, etc. So typically targeting about $1,000 to $2,000 below the invoice price is considered to be a very, very strong deal. Right, right now, Genesis is offering 1.9% financing for 60 months, 2.9% at 72. And if you've got one of these competitive vehicles in the household, you actually get another $1,000 in the form of a rebate. Or if you currently own a Genesis now, you get an additional $1,000 rebate as well. Now, it's not so, so much aggressive if you're trying to actually purchase this car. What I want to focus on right now is the lease aspect. And I want to encourage you guys, as much as you can, to shop around the deal. See, see how many dealerships you can get involved in a super, super easy way. And I can't stress this enough is log in on to save on my auto and target the following. The Genesis has a 50% residual at 10,000 miles a year and a 0 0.00011 money factor. Super, super aggressive money factor because the residual is very low. Genesis is offering $4,000 in lease cash, essentially rebates only for lease customers. The finance customers don't get this. So essentially, if we were to target just the invoice price, not even going after below the invoice price, as in making the dealership go beneath their cost. I'm just talking about invoice. So target better if you can. Going after a selling price of 41268 right? 4.5% less. And putting just the inception fees, do it start, like your first payment, acquisition fee, dock fee, all that stuff do up front. We'd be talking about... Let me take this over to the shade for you guys. Four hundred and seventy bucks a month, including sales tax. Now, the real goal in all this, guys, if you're shopping around using Save on My Auto to get the best quote, you don't want to settle at invoice price. You want to go below the invoice price. You want to ask for something a thousand dollars less than an invoice would would have put you at about. 445 to 450 2000 would have put you at around 420 the only real way to achieve figures like this guys you can't rely on just striking this type of a deal with just the first dealership you get into contact with get in touch with as many as you possibly can 
And if you're a horrible negotiator, use the figures and variables that I've armed you with in this video to go after the deal with the dealers that get in touch with you after submitting the form. Now guys, I hope that this information helped you in trying to wrap your head around exactly what you should be targeting on the Genesis G70 this month. If you found this information useful and you wanna see more of these new car buying and negotiation tip type videos, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to get a quote from Save On My Auto down in the description below. Click it and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so, so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time.